Alright guys, so as I promised you, today we're going to check out this Walmart in Shanghai. First time going to a Walmart in China. Let's see what they have inside and how big it is, alright? Walmart shop right here. Wait, what's all this store inside Walmart? Oh wait, maybe I'll go up here. Walmart, baby. All right, let's go ahead and get a cart. Oh my goodness. Got a checkout line right here. Got phone cards. That's all this stuff. All kind of Chinese <laughs> These are Yerman Bay, so the exchange rate is divided by 7 and then you get the US dollar rate. I'm actually surprised they celebrate Halloween. Look at this. I'm surprised Chinese people saw Halloween. That is where you go upstairs. See what we can find right here. Right? Got all kind of snacks right here. Man, I don't, I don't even see any American food. Yeah, we got candies galore right here. Got all kind of spices. It's like going to an Asian grocery store. Okay, I finally see something I recognize. Ferrero chocolate, $109, yeah. Got some M&Ms right here. Snickers. The, this huge lollipop for almost $26. Oh my goodness, look at this, you go buy chicken feet, packs of chicken feet. Get here. Kai Kanya. Per kilogram, about $49 per kilogram. I meant per gram. Different flavors of chicken feet. Chinese people seem to love the love to eat these like bread. It's got flavor in them. It's actually pretty good. It's got like pepper rice flavor. My favorite is like red bean. It's got lemon, I think. All kinds of goodies right here. So for twenty five, about twenty five dollars, you get like a, per I think it's what, kilogram. You get all these different candy. I'm gonna actually buy some of this so I can taste it. You got. Different flavors, like peanuts, sweet. This, this is exciting, man. I need to grab a little bit of everything. All right, let's tear out this candy aisle. Um, I remember eating these white rabbit candy as a kid. Very popular in China. Like eleven dollars per bag. All right, got a whole bunch of snacks that you guys are probably not familiar with. What's this mixed fruit chips? Everything looks pretty healthy though. Let's gotta admit. All right, let's check out the frozen food section. Got some of these uh, hot stickers or whatever in there. Very popular buns, steam buns, pot stickers. Look at this flavor. Why is nobody around here though? Nobody likes frozen food, I bet. I bet you that's why. Everybody wants fresh food. Well, at least we have some ice cream right here. See that? Fruit flavor ice cream, chocolate. I don't see any American brands now. 
got some frozen meat in here, fillet steak, beef, Kobe beef. What's over here? It's a fifty dollar bag of this. What? This is like a duck. Why do I want duck in the bag? There's a sausage. Some type of sausage. What does it say right here? Brazilian roast cumin sausage for like ten dollars. Right here, everybody's favorite. You gotta get some pig's feet, gourmet pig's feet for about sixteen dollars a bag. Mm, it's delicious ham hock pig's feet. If you want for thirty-two dollars, you get a chicken in a bag complete with a head in it. Yeah, baby. Chicken in the bag. In here, you got some, what's this, yogurt? I think this is yogurt. Nothing I'm familiar with. You don't see any damn brand or anything like that. Sour milk. Got some orange juice right here, carrot juice. Orange juice, citrus juice, pineapple juice, very flavorful juices. One of the very popular ones are these like sour milk. Look at this right here. I don't like these. All right, let's check out the bakery section. Got some cookies right here. All these delicious biscuits, buns. Hot dog buns. I'm pretty sure people don't like eating hot dogs here. Right here, you get some. Wait, this isn't even cereal. What the heck is this? All kind of dry biscuits. Section. We got some long eye right here. Perfect for insomnia. It's like seventy dollars a pound. Got some Chinese fruits. This, these are very good right here. Got some durian right here for like thirty dollars. Watermelon for like four dollar. Way. All kinds of bitter melon, Chinese celery, corn, ginger. And yes, we even eat bananas, but we have the small ones right here. Dragon fruit. Kaya. And they got typical apples right here, all different flavors of apples, pears. Got all kinds of delicious cakes. This right here, it's beautiful. I can eat this. Buns, I think. All kinds of buns right here. Peanuts. Nuts. Fried, you can get a whole duck right here. Oops. Pigeon. Fried chicken. Pizza. You can get a pizza right here. That looks like a gross pizza. Check out the meat section. You gotta get some uh, duck feet, fish, all kinds of stuff. Chicken wing, Australian beef, beef, chicken, bacon. Look at this meat section. Of course, I just hang out. Beef, 
So this is where you cash out and pay for your stuff. So we go upstairs to like furniture or other items. So upstairs looks like it's clothes and like house specials. Woman purses, all kinds of stuff. The one thing you must be prepared is buy plenty of napkins or Kleenex because a lot of public restrooms don't have paper and some of the restaurants charge you for tissue. It's ridiculous, I know. But just remember that when you go visit China, buy plenty of these. Trust me. You got shoes over there, and got detergents, Chinese detergent. I don't see any down here, Tide. He's all Chinese brand. Basically everything is like Chinese. Oh, here's a Tide though. Freaking fruit flavor Tide, look at this. $35, you could get one bag of this. Look at all the covers. <laughs> so a lot of restaurants don't have a, I mean a lot of restrooms don't have like a toilet cover seat. So what's popular is you can buy your own. Imagine buying your own toilet cover and bring it everywhere. It's ridiculous, I know. <laughs> Check it out guys. Even the battery is a lot of Chinese brand. I don't even see any uh, Duracell or, or Ever Energizer. Is it energy? Uh, here's a Duracell, my bad. Here's a Duracell. This is what it looks like, the Chinese Duracell battery. Alright, for the kids, let's see what kind of toys they have. For about, what, like $50, you would get this. What is like a fake dress? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Look at this bumblebee. That, that formation? What the heck? Talk about a knockoff of bumblebee. This is freaking hilarious. Look at this bumblebee. Oh my goodness. Look at this gun right here. That's Optimus Prime. <laughs> Optimus Prime, more like. Let's check out the toy section. Got Ultraman, it's popular in uh, Japan. Oh my gosh, there are so many. But I think these went out of style. $89, whatever the heck this is. Here's a tr Transformers, but I don't know if it's real or not. It's the knockoff versus the real one right here. Iron Man from Marvel. Mega Fighters. Are these real Marvel or knockoffs? Spider Man Legends. Frozen. Some more guns for the boys. More Transformers right here. Alright. Legos type. But these aren't actual Legos though. But knock off of Legos. You can't even buy some uh, train right here. Ooh, I'm interested in that. Hundred dollars roughly for this train. Got some Hot Wheels right here, and there's no Chinese words on here. To my surprise, seven in the back. Different type of Hot Wheels. More of these construction tech blocks for the toddlers. Remote control vehicles. They look very cheaply made. A lot of plastic in them. Right. We got some skateboard right here. Bikes. Hey, this is for the students. Pencils and pens. You guys do the math on calculating how much it turns out to be in US dollars, alright? 
Mickey Mouse. Transformers popular Mickey Mouse. I don't see any Hello Kitty stuff or anything related to Panda. Oh wow, this Walmart even sells appliances. Look at this tiny kind of refrigerator. How much for this? That's freaking tiny, but then the living conditions are tiny. For $1,300, you get a size of this refrigerator. And I think the freezer is on the bottom. But they get it backwards. Prices go up from there for this expensive one right here. Higher end model. My idea, whatever brand this is, I don't see any Samsung brand or OG. Yeah, this is definitely higher end. See that? And right here is electronic section with TVs, uh, washers. Here's the price of the TVs. What brand is this? Chinese brand though. Washing machine. 779. Tiny washing machine. My dear. Did you wash your leg? Trim the washing machine. Wow, go come quite yeah. Four dollars. Very oh higher. It's a better Chinese brand. It's most popular. Well, the better highest end. Machine. Have a lot of when you have a lot of space, you will buy something like this. That's a golden brand right here. Let's open this higher end. So the depth is like half as much as we expect from uh, the U.S. Also a lot of electronics section. Shavers, hair dryers. Like $97 for this. Fans, heaters, air purifiers. Oh, what's popular is using these type of air conditioners. Hotels and homes use these. And if you have a big restaurant, you will get one of these huge ones. Hey, we're in a blender. What is this? Stoves. This is a cute, cute one right here. I wouldn't mind having one of these. Fujitsu, Mitsubishi. I will not trust Mitsubishi because I used to own a car and it's crap. Okay, we had a man section. Let's take a look at their fashions. $50 on discount. You get some of these. Alright. Some of these jeans are $199. I don't know what brand this is. Leon Miori. I would not wear these. Let's take a look at their alcohol. Wine, alcohol. Drinks. 